y'all, it's your girl Tasha. So earlier this year, Cubic Aquarium released a batch of Generation 3 Orbit 20 tanks. I was lucky enough to snag one and wanted to talk about some of the differences that I noticed. So once I've introduced my rock media into the aquarium, I noticed that it wasn't sitting down at the bottom as it was with the Generation 1 and 2 model. So there is an improvement with the interior design. If you take a look here, there is a partition here that's separating the filtration side from the electrical components. So with that improvement, it also decreased the gallon size. So since water is not on this side, it's essentially dry, this tank is only four gallons versus the generation one and two, which is six gallons. Remember this size still has the electrical components. It has silicone hoses to protect the wires, and it still has the auxiliary cords for the external chiller and or heater. And by it being dry, it's actually protecting um, the wires and it's not gonna have that gooey feeling that it did with the generation one and two models So they got feedback from some of the hobbyists and went ahead and improved the design um, They were also having issues with oxygenation because the rock media was at the bottom and there wasn't enough aeration or agitation of the water So some of the jellies had increased co2 and they were also going to the top of the surface level where the oxygen was just to get some of the oxygen So hopefully with this improvement, it will be better for our jellies Remember with the silent pump, the water is going to pass through the filter sponge here. It's going to remove any toxins or any debris. And it's going to travel down to the beneficial bacteria here. Well, it will return to the inside of the aquarium where the jellies are through these little tiny holes, as well as a spray bar that will gently spray that filter water back into the jellies area so that they can absorb that filter water and thrive and survive as they should. Now I won't know if any of these improvements are working until after my jellies are introduced. So once my jellies are in my tank, I will keep you guys updated and let you know how they are doing. So if you like the video, please press the like button. Also subscribe. Until next time, peace.